Hi students, welcome back to Weaving on a Popsicle Loom. This is part two of our video. We've already discussed how to make the loom with our warp threads, and now we're gonna learn how to weave on the loom with our weft threads. Again, we started with four popsicle sticks that we glued together with hot glue. We put some yarn on our popsicle sticks and made our warp threads and now we're gonna weave it. And I'm gonna show you how we do that. You need to get about two yards of yarn, any color that you like. And you've got to tie it onto your loom. So I'm gonna tie it in a double knot onto the first string of my loom. One, two. Then I pull it to the top and cut off the extra string and then I can begin weaving. I'm going to also put a knot down here in the end of my string and I do that by making a little X with my string and pushing the yarn through the little hole so you have to go around the yarn pull it and it makes a knot and you cut off the extra string and it keeps the yarn from fraying okay the first thing you have to do is remember that you're going to go over under over under all your double strings till you get all the way across. If you can see, those are little double sets of strings. But we're gonna treat them as one set each and go over, under, over, under. So we're gonna start with this string here and we're gonna go under, hop over, under, hop over, under, hop over, under, hop over, under. And then we're gonna pull the strings all the way across. We're also gonna wrap our strings around the popsicle sticks because they are going to become part of our weave, as you can see on this one. So I went under, I mean over that last string, and now I'm gonna come under my popsicle stick and I'm gonna wrap around it and I'm gonna start and go back this way. As you can see, the last time when I came over this last string, I know I'm doing it correctly if I'm doing it opposite. So this time I'm gonna wrap around my string, I mean my stick, and I'm gonna go over the stick and under the first string. Hop over, under, hop over, under, hop over, under. Now this next one I'm gonna do really slowly so you can see. Every time I get all the way across, I have to pull my string through. There are some little bumps on the side of your limb, so when you're packing the strings down, you gotta kinda try not to get stuck in those. But I needed them to make my warp strings stay in place. So now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna go back the other way. Again, wrapping around my stick over the top of my stick because I'm going to treat it as if it's a string. So if I go over my stick, what's next? Under. So I'm going to go under, hop over, under, hop over, under these two strings, over the top of these two strings, under these two strings, over the top of these two strings. And don't forget your last string, go under and then over your stick. Pull it all the way across and tighten it up. Pack your strings every time. And now we're gonna flip it over again. And every time we get to the end, we're gonna flip it over and wrap around the popsicle stick. Take our string and do it again. When you weave all of the string that you have, you're gonna have to tie on another piece of string so that you can keep going with another color. I chose to do a pattern on this one over here by doing a little bit of green string, colored string, pink string, then colored string and green string again. So again, you don't wanna get caught in those little grooves. You gotta pack your yarn and you gotta pull it tight. Wrap it around the stick and repeat the steps again, over, under, over, under, over, under. When you get all the way to the end and you've woven all of this string that you can weave, you're gonna have to leave a little tail of yarn to tie on your next color. 
So we're gonna pretend that we've woven all that we wanna weave with this color, and we're gonna tie on our next color. So you've got to take another piece of yarn, and you're going to put your two strings together like this. This one's frayed, so we're gonna cut it. So you put your two strings together, you squeeze them together and you make that X that we talked about. There's the X right there. And you've gotta go around the strings in the hole and tie your knot tight. Once you get it nice and tight, you can trim off the extra strings and keep weaving. If you have knots in the middle of your uh, loom, then you just make sure that you tuck them underneath and they're, they're all on the same side so you have a front and a back. And you take your next color and you continue weaving and so on and so on. And that's how you make a popsicle loom decoration.